Greetings MacWaven, this is Offshore Chisho and welcome back to the MacWaven Line video and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the resistant hero mechs or the inner sphere hero mechs. So right here we have the one of the Wolfhound hero mechs which is a light mech, it's 35 tons and it has a 30% CBL bonus. It has really nice camo on it, you can actually see part of it actually shines which you don't see that kind of thing on any other mechs I believe. And it's really nice, I don't think I'm going to change the camo. Uh, if I do look a little sleepy, it's because it's the uh, middle of the night. And it's the only time I can do it without anyone bothering me. So this is a pretty fast mech. Uh, originally, it came, with, it came with a 97 km power engine. But I've changed that out. So let's take a look at the loadout I had changed for this mech. Let's start with the armor. So the right arm is at 28, the left arm is at 26. The reason is because I'm using this as a shield. I'm actually using the right hand as a shield as well. If you want to get back these two armor, I suggest just changing out the head. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the head at 16. I just feel safe with it and use the left arm like a shield. And it does have the perks where it does increase four here on each of the armor on each of the arms especially on the right and left torso which is 18 and 1 in the rear and the center torso have extra 20 uh, 20 armor and 1 at the rear and the legs actually has another 16 that can come with the mech so uh, the right and left torso actually that uh, it has about 41 frontal armor and the rear 10 armor uh, the center torso has 55 and uh, 10 rear armor the leg side 48 for both legs i've changed out the engine for an xl 265 that so that i can move at 122 kilometers per hour it does feel slow when it's moving but that's the speed and like for me every light max are better with uh, speed rather than being too slow and medium max should be moving at 90 kilometers per hour so a light max should move over 110 for me so another good thing about this mech is it has a Guardian ECM which keeps it out of radar and you can actually uh, try to get the enemies from behind. You can actually go for a stealth armor but I'm, I'm not going for the stealth armor. Uh, not really interested in it. Uh, it, it, it. Having the FF armor is enough to keep me out of the radar and enough for me to hit them from behind. So we have two double heat sink if I, I've not already said that. Right, and we have five medium pulse lasers, so it actually only has five uh, energy hard points on this mech. So that's the reason why I have about five medium pulse lasers, and I find it the best uh, weapon loadout for this particular mech. So the upgrades, the it's a FF armor, double heat thing, and endo steel. I did not change this; it came originally with the mech, so you don't have to spend too much on it. So uh, firepower at thirty-three. It takes Alex at least three, two to three slots, or two, sorry, two to three shots <laughs> at the rear of a heavy mech or assault mech to take it down. Right, so it's still good enough uh, that they won't notice you until the actually the second shot, and by then it will be too late. Right, so our heat management is at one point three, which is good enough, and you should bring at least two cool shots with this. Just to keep it under control especially in maps that are really hot so we have an one advanced uav with the consumables let's take a look at the skill tree right here this is our skill tree so i've mainly focused on first the laser duration i got all of the laser duration right and then just get everything but try to get as much as the heat uh, generation that reduce the heat generated by the weapon after it's shot right so the others is just range and uh, cooldown you do not want to have the velocity or the flame ventilation is useless the other extra nodes are useless the only thing that you should be going for is the laser du du laser duration and nothing else for the firepower now the survival skill tree I would suggest once you get this mech, you should all the skill points that you got for this mech immediately do the survival before going to the firepower. So like 
always in like the rest of my videos focus on the reinforced casing right uh, the wolfhound itself has already good armor but the reason why you saw the XL engine for this mech is because it has a lot of armor and it 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 doesn't it's not easily taken down so that's another good thing about the wolfhound mech so having extra armor makes it last longer so concentrate on the reinforced casing that reduce the critical hit on you and then the second is the skeleton density as much as you can and then the armor hardening the rest is just bonus so you don't really need uh, the ams and you don't really need the shock absorbent right we skip mobility because it's already moving fast you had no jump jets to use operation wise uh, because we're on medium lasers and we need that heat content the reason why i place uh, skill points on this tree is mainly because of two things the heat contaminant which increase your the heat threshold and as well as cool run with uh, reduce the the heat dissipation much more faster it might be only two here but it's still useful so i got at least about four uh, heat content which uh, increase the heat like i said the heat threshold so that is important for this and the the hill climb is just a bonus skip the sensor and uh, auxiliary I went for the cool shots as you know already until the extra consumable slots and the UAV duration, UAV range and you extra UAV. Although you don't actually need this and you might want to take this and put it over here which what I think I should be doing right now. I didn't realize it before. So let's get that it's extra skills point. Cool shot. Fly. And we've mastered it already <laughs> as you can see i got all this uh, skill points uh, for the xp from playing this mech multiple times it, it's easy to generate uh, xp with this mech because it, it's pretty fast and it can take down enemies pretty quickly so what else can i say about this mech but it's a stealth mech it, it goes to, uh, like all the light mechs it's focused on uh, or the assault mechs from behind if you, if you can't get them from behind you should just run away come back again get him from and then just take him out right so this is cool mech and let's see how well we're gonna pilot this mech now so that i can show you how good this mech is you can actually hide behind this helping uh, is that a hunchback i never realized it was a hunchback This fire has never been shut down. It's like we're... <laughs> I try to help you, Daewoo. I tried to help him, I couldn't. Now our team's uh, spread out. Take a stand, G5, G4. Ouch, ouch. 
use the buildings as cover. Don't try not to get uh, in out in the open. What is King Crab doing, man? I was. There you go. Legs. He managed to get his legs. Right, we got his legs there. We still have quite good armor on our mech. Our heat is still good and we still have one cool shot. Excel! Please! Not Excel. Target and we got him! We what? Gonna be a hero. Damage. Ah! <laughs> I was seriously trying to, to win this. <laughs> A well, good game. Well, we got 400,000 seal bills, 3,000 XP, we got 689 damage, 3 most damage dealt, 3 killing, kill blows, killing blows, and let's take a look, we got 689 damage, the highest in our team, not the highest in game, but it's the highest in game, we got 539 match score, that is good, that is really good, and that's a pretty nice game we have here. Target acquired. Target spotted. That assault is alone, and that dude should be able to take him, take him out. New target acquired. Target spotted. That's possible. Awesome. I got some damage on him. Ooh, assault. New target acquired. Activated. There you go. 
thought there was someone down there. I was wrong. Block this way. I'm trying to see where I should be heading. Oh, it's not a good trade in damage. New target acquired. Alone. I'm spotting him. Cross up. Ow. Damage. Can have the left arm. Oh. I didn't see those guys down there. Damn it. Ah. Ah. Okay, it's clear I can get out of here. That is not a good place for me. Ow. I'm gonna go help my lance out. I think he'll see me though. Yeah, you have a heat that thing? Behind the Citadel. Fuck it. 12 minutes into the damn game. Come on, man. Throw some balls, dude. I'm going to jack it up to the salt land. And he still didn't move. Try not loud. Never going to get a quiet. Never going to get anything good. Never going to buy anything good. Only. It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Target destroyed. Two kills. Down a bit. Target acquired. New target acquired. Target spotted. Oh, the light man. Get his legs. Yeah, got his 
legs, I think. Ah, I'm overheated. That guy is much more. Overheat <laughs> it. Oh, come on. Long leg, I think. Well, that's a nice game. <laughs> Well, it's a good call, we're helping the guys, the Alpha Lens. Okay, we took out two mechs. 300,000 C bills, 2,000 2, XP, 648 damage, two more damage dealt, two killing blows. You get 648 damage, highest 66 by the De Borna. I think we had, had this. Play another game with him. In our team, we have the most. Oh, we have the most uh, match scores in the entire game. Oh, well, that's nice. So, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. See you guys next time. Off show out.